subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video what I'm going to be doing is showing you a cool funky trick in Microsoft Excel and that is how to convert negative numbers to zero or a number of your choice in Microsoft Excel. So before I continue with this video, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel, please share this video with your friends and your family. I will be ever so grateful. So what we have in front of us is a spreadsheet with two columns. In column B are names of people and in column C are values and those values are how much that person is in credit or in debt with you so what i want to do is not show the ne um, these negative numbers i want to convert those negative numbers to zero and we're going to do the calculation in this column d here so the function we're going to use for this is called the max function now what the max function will do it will look at the value in column C and it will do a calculation. It will say, ask the question, is that number a negative number? If it is a negative number, it will return the value of zero in this column here. If it's not a um, negative number, it will keep the same value and put it in here. So let me just go through this to make it easier for you to understand. Now, the first thing we do when we do a formula is we always do equals. Now, we're gonna use the function max. So I'm gonna type in the letters M, A, X, because those that is the function max. Now, what, what I want the max function to do is go back and look at the values in column C. So I'm gonna do bracket open. I'm gonna highlight the value in column C here. So what it's gonna do is looking at that value in column C. Now, what I want it to do is say, if it's not a negative number, return back the value in column C. However, if it is a negative number in column C, I want it to return back the value of zero. So I'm gonna write or type in zero in here. So basically, it's gonna look at the, um, the cell C2 here, if that's not a negative number, bring that value back into column D2 or cell D2. If it is a negative number, I want it to bring back, uh, convert that negative number to zero. Once you're happy with that formula, which I am, so we've done equals max, bracket open C2 comma zero, bracket closed. And then the last thing we do is enter. So hopefully it should bring back 43 pounds because that's not a negative number. Next one same thing again equals max now there's a quicker way to copy the formulas down to the columns but for the purpose of this video i'm going to do that formula one more time so equals max we're going to use a function again bracket open this time we're looking at c3 which is this cell here and then we're going to say um obviously if it's a negative number return back zero like that and enter and it should bring back 23 pounds, which it has done. Now this one, it should bring back zero. Let me do this, equals max, bracket open. I wanna look at this value. Remember, if this value is a negative number, bring back zero in here. If it's not, keep the value as it is, but it is a neg negative number. So hopefully it should bring back or show zero in the cell D4. So fingers crossed there we go so obviously you can see that function or that formula I've just tried is working so the obviously because the value is a negative number is brought back zero let me do this one more time equals max bracket open look at this value comma um, and if it's a negative number bring back zero enter but you can also um, so that's a quick and easy way to show you how to convert negative numbers to zeros. Um, I'm just going to add on to this. To So obviously if you've got a big long list of names and values, doing each formula one by one is going to be quite tricky, quite laborious. So what you can do is um, obviously highlight the cell where you put the last formula in and just a simple case of going to the bottom right hand corner um, and dragging the mouse button, the left mouse button down so you can copy um, the formula is down into the other cells and that's called a fill handle there. Now interestingly enough, 
Um, I don't want to leave you with that because obviously what we've done just now is converted all those negative numbers to zeros. But what you can do, let me just delete this down here. We can change it up a little bit. So if I type in equals max in this one, bracket open, I want to check the value of this cell. Now this time, if it's a negative number, I don't want it to bring back zero. Let's for example say I want it to bring back the number 100. So if it's a negative number, I want it to bring back 100. So you can specify if it's a negative number, what value you want it to show in the column D, in, in the column D. There you go. So because it's a negative number, it's brought back the value of 100. You could copy that formula down in there. So you can actually specify uh, what you want it to bring back. But for the purpose of this video, let me go back to the first bit equals max, bracket open, check this value. If that value's a negative number, bring back zero. If it's not, keep the value as it is. So that's what that um, function does there. Max looks at that value and obviously chooses or decides which value to bring back if it's a zero or if it's a actual number. And again, to copy the formula across, bottom right and corner, and drag it down like that. I hope this video has been really helpful. Uh, please like, please subscribe, and please take care.